Okay, so thank you very much, and my, wow, congratulations to you all, because that is really refreshing to hear what's going on. Um, but I suppose this all fits under, under a piece of work that's going on nationally, and um, as mentioned, under the auspices of Healthy Ireland, we're developing a national healthy workplace framework. What's exciting about it is, I suppose, is we are very much in partnership with business, enterprise and innovation. And clearly, they see it as part of their agenda as well. So this notion that, that health and well-being is everybody's business um, is, really, is really, I suppose, the driving force behind Healthy Ireland. And that's the example of that here in your own space is, is looking at the Cork Healthy Cities and how that's very much collaboration across different areas. In a, coming from a world of health promotion, because I've worked in the HSE in health promotion forever at this stage, we really, what, we, what I suppose the vision is that we create healthy communities where there's healthy workplaces, where there's healthy schools, you know, where there's healthy hospitals, so that that thread of health and well-being goes through the life course, goes through life stages, and that people begin to encounter it all the way along. Um, we also have another project around the healthy clubs. So wherever people gather, the World Health Organization talk about where people work, um, gather, play, that's opportunities there for health and well-being. So really, it's that sort of seamless flow through those different areas. And I think what you've described here today is a really, really good example of that. And I suppose I'm well aware that there's lots of organisations and, and, and every company, I think, are doing work in this space. Sometimes it's just not called health and well-being. Sometimes it's called something else. But it's all important in, in terms of moving the agenda forward. So the idea of the national framework, I suppose, is that it will give clear strategic direction. It's for public and private sector, for small and large. So it is a strategy that sets out a rationale, a reason, research, evidence for why we should focus on healthy workplaces. There's plenty of international evidence on that space, but we haven't had a framework for Ireland um, to date. There was some work done back in the 90s, but it really never took off. But I think we're in, and I've certainly noticed since I came into this area in the last two years, that there is a huge interest in the workplace. And I suppose with over 2 million people in employment in Ireland, it makes a lot of sense um, from a company perspective, from a well-being perspective, that we focus in that area. The research evidence or the evidence base for it is also growing significantly, both in terms of well-being and productivity, in terms of the, the turnover in so many areas and in so many spaces, that's growing. So that's, that's really partly what's driving, I think, workplaces, but it's also the whole, I suppose, the culture of, of health and well-being is seeping into the workplace. So the work to date in terms of that has involved, we've had a huge consultation process last year. We were in Cork for a morning and we had an online as well. And we've just finalised that report. So very interestingly, in, in looking at the areas of topics, mental health has come up. In, in, in at the very highest. So that fits very much with your agenda here. The culture of an, of an organisation is also significant. So while the programmes we're talking about today are really positive and really significant, they also need to be though placed within the culture of an organisation or the ethos of the organisation needs to clearly state that health and wellbeing is important. And I suppose that's what we would hope that the framework will also will give going forward. We have also commissioned research in terms of looking at what works and where, where, where organisations should invest and what, what the, the outturn would be for it, and that report is almost finalised. And we have developed a postgraduate course with NUIG, a blended learning model on workplace wellness. And that's really to equip staff from a work site with the skills necessary to drive this agenda forward. And so there are the first course got off last September. We've 35 participants on that, and it's going. There's really positive feedback on it. So really, it's to give somebody in the organisation who's driving this agenda those extra skills, the, the kind of and knowledge that gives them the, uh, a stronger voice and a stronger position in the organisation. We're, finally, we're also working on the development of an accreditation model and I would hope and envisage that as we move forward with this and we get funded and supported in the space that we will be someday coming back to Cork to give you your Healthy Ireland Awards on being a healthy workplace and ticking all the boxes. So that piece of work is also underway at the moment, looking at models in other countries and there's some really good examples in some of our neighbouring countries in England and Scotland where there is 
a, a lot of recognition and a lot of focus put on this space. But look, you've made a great start and I'm really delighted to be here. And it's very reassuring to hear of all the good work that's going on. And it's also a lovely networking opportunity for all of you. So well done to everybody involved and congratulations to, um, to yourselves in terms of getting this going. So thank you very much.